Hello dear students, in this uh, session we will try to understand how to draw a free body diagram for different situations. So most of the times what happens is while solving connected body problems or some problems in loss of motion, if we go wrong while drawing free body diagram itself, we may not get the correct answer. So we should have clarity of how to draw free body diagram. Let me take uh, a situation here, say this is ceiling, here there is a mass m hung from the ceiling and this is the string, string is massless, frictionless, unless mentioned, massless uh, and inextensible, string is massless and inextensible. Now what to do, how to draw free body diagram is you make this mass free from the system, okay, keep it somewhere. You draw only forces acting on the body, then it is a free body diagram, very simple, that is why we call it as free. Okay. What is free body diagram of M? Free body diagram of M. Free body diagram of M. Uh, M I will write here. M. Weight is acting downwards. We know it. Weight is always acting downwards. But the mass is not coming down. No? Some force is there which is acting uh, upwards so that this mass is at rest. Now this mass is at rest which is that force, a force of tension is being developed in the string. So, we call it as force of tension in the string. If the mass is more, there is more tension for the string because it has to hold. Na? So, for this uh, how I can write the equation since the mass is stationary, T upward force equal to downward force equilibrium. If the body is in equilibrium, upward force equal to downward force, T is equal to mg. This is one situation. Now, uh, say I have a pulley here, I have a pulley here, here there is a mass, say this mass is M1, here there is a mass M2. How to write free body diagram of M1 and M2? Free body diagram of M1, oh. so M1 I will write here. Say here in this case M1 is greater than M2. If M1 is greater than M2, what happens? M1 should come down, M2 should go up. Acceleration will be in this direction, acceleration. Correct. No? And since it is the same string, tension should be same throughout the string. I okay. will write M1. On M1, which force is acting? Force acting on M1, one force is weight only weight is acting downwards, weight is m1 g. The other force which is acting is force of tension. Out of tension and weight, which is the bigger force? Since m1 is more, m1 is coming down. Na? So, downward force should be bigger, m1 g should be bigger. Uh, m1 g minus t together are responsible for acceleration of mass m1. So, what I, what, what I can write? m1 g minus t is equal to m1 into a. What is this? This is net force. Net force is equal to net force is responsible for acceleration. Okay. So, m1 g minus t is equal to m1 a. Like this, you can write free body diagram. Free body diagram, free body diagram of m2, m2. How I can write? m2, this is m2. m2 g is definitely acting downwards. Ah, tension is acting upwards. Now, as the mass is going up, the upward force should be bigger, that is T should be bigger. Therefore, I can write an equation T minus m 2 g is responsible for acceleration of mass m 2 net force. Tension, since tension is more, the block is going up. Okay. This is how uh, we can write uh, uh, free body diagram in the case of uh, pulley. We can write one more uh, one more situation for the better understanding. Say there are two blocks. There are two blocks, M1 and M2. They are in contact. Say this surface is a smooth surface. Smooth surface means frictionless surface. Some force is being applied 
on mass m1 because of that this system accelerates with some acceleration a. How to write free body diagram of m1, m1 is m1, some force f is acting here, normal reaction weight is weight is acting downwards, mg is acting downwards, m1g is acting downwards, normal reaction is acting upwards, this n and m1g get cancelled because this m1 is the mass is not going up or down, it is only going along the horizontal. It is enough if you bother, bother the force acting on the horizontal. Now, here someone is uh, opposing, there is some force here which is opposing the motion of M1. That force we call it as a reaction force between the surfaces 1, 2. So, here R12 reaction force will be there that is acting in the opposite direction. Now, very interesting part free body diagram of M2. If you draw free body diagram of M2 on M2 normal reaction is acting upwards, m 2 g weight is acting downwards and these two gets cancelled, but m 2 is moving along the horizontal which force is acting on, on m 2, f is acting on m 1. So, because of that some reaction force is developed here that is r 1 2, r 1 2 is acting on m 2. Now, this is very strange reaction force, reaction force developed on m 1 it is in this direction on m 2 it is in the opposite direction means this reaction force tries to push m2 towards the right and this reaction force tries to resist the motion of m1 so that is why the direction of reaction force is different in these two diagram this is a very important part that we have to learn while drawing a free body diagram now if i write the equation for uh, this uh, acceleration is a i can write since the uh, body is moving in this direction i can write f minus r12 is equal to m 1 a, this is one equation here, here what I can write only force acting is r 1 2 that is responsible for acceleration of the mass. So, f is equal to m into a r 1 2 is equal to m 2 into a. So, this is how we have to write uh, uh, free body diagram. So, if you are uh, very sure if you are if you have very good clarity about how to write free body diagram, uh, you can solve the problems in loss of motion better.